This is Twit. Well, greetings to everyone on Ham Nation. Uh, this is what we're doing. We're showing off our quick response vehicle. And this is a this was given to Rocky Mountain Ham over here. And it's now become the Amateur Radio Emergency Communications Van here in Southern Colorado. So we're going to be showing off what we do for Aries and what we used to do as a Rover team. And this is a this is an awesome van, you guys. So stay tuned. Uh, Bob, you want me to take it away? Yeah, absolutely. I want, okay. We all want to hear and see more. Go ahead. Okay, so we're going to start here outside of the van before it starts to rain again on us. We're going to go over the bulkhead. And these are our antenna connections. Um, and it's nice. Uh, Jeff, uh, he knows more about this stuff. But basically, we have nine different antennas connections that we can put in here. And we have what we call the cradle point and our sat modem out here as well. So we connect to this. We put satellites on top of the van and we have our internet connection. So let's go inside the van and check it out, shall we? Now this used to be a CBS news van, but we have rearranged it and Rocky Mountain Ham took over this project and put in all of these radios, all of the repeaters, the computers, and made this so it could be ready for roving or for MCOM. And right now it's basically for MCOM, but let's go over some of the radios we have in here. If Jeff wants to hop in, we can get a closer look at everything. So basically we have a ton of VHF radios and a ton of UHF radios. We also have a DMR radio and our DTR radio, which helps with our served agencies. And we have an APRS and packet radio. Now, a lot of people would say, why do you need so many radios? Well, let me tell you, when you're serving your served agencies, you need all of these radios because you're their ears. They don't have time to listen to V-Fire or MRA-1 for search and rescue or BLM or the Forest Service during a wildfire. So we bring all of this in so that we can listen to what's going on and we can inform maybe our sheriff's office or emergency manager. And that's the whole purpose of this. Now, not only do we have that, we don't just do UHF and VHF in here, let's face it. We've got our HF rig here, the ICOM 746. And let's look at, take a look at our patch panel here, you guys. This is pretty amazing. It looks pretty nice and clean. Thank you, Jeff, for keeping it that way. <clears throat> So basically, you can see we can take any of these antennas connected over here to the outside point and install our external antennas. We keep uh, basically a vertical antenna in here at all times and also a dipole or a G5RV so we can get on HF immediately. Now, not only that, but we also have repeaters in here. So we have our 8-tack repeater. And we also have, well, our DMR repeater is down here. So follow me down. We have our 8300 for DMR. And we also have a VTAC repeater as well. <clears throat> That's just some of the stuff that we do. So if we're out on a search and rescue call, not only do we need to be listening to their frequencies and maybe even um, flight for life and be able to call, contact incident command, we also need to have our computer functioning. So... We wake that baby up here. Currently, I have it on APRS.fi, but we like to be able to look at radar. We like to be able to look at uh, geographical maps. We want to be able to print them out. So we have our printer right here. We can print out our maps directly for um, SAR or whoever else might require them. Not only that, we also have our... Um, VOIP phone so we can make some phone calls once we connect up and Jeff is really the brains behind this you guys I'm not a networking technician but if you look up here we have a micro tick router and our HP networking we also have this mixer here this is for some audio stuff but mostly you know we don't pay attention to it and um I mean, this is an amazing setup and it's, 
We've been on so many missions with this. It's unbelievable. Now, that's not it, though. Wait, there's more. <laughs> so if you want to look up front here, we have another <laughs> docking station. So we can have another computer wow. maybe monitoring something else. And then we have our ICOM D-STAR radio because uh, D-STAR is also important to us. So uh, it's been getting more and more popular around here. And plus it's a, we can enter in a frequency and switch frequencies and that kind of good stuff. Cause as you noticed, most of the other radios are front program are not front front programmable. So um, that's just a few of the uses of this. Now, if we were to start using this as a Rover, we'd install the six meter antennas and all of those fun things, maybe do some uh, 1.2 gig on here as well for the contest coming up. But uh, we currently use it just as MCOM, but we are taking it to field day and we like to contest out of this a little bit. We install a dipole typically. And uh, Jeff, did you want to add anything about what we do with this van? I think you covered it pretty well. All right. So there you go, you guys. This is our QRV. We use it for MCOM roving contesting whatever we can sometimes hey we just take it out and go camping with it and have fun making contacts out in the woods so gordo do you have any questions for us wow no i'm so impressed it was fun to go through the van uh, uh, just great jeff and amanda thank you and uh, the other thing i want to mention is that it's we do have a generator in here it's very very loud and when we're on generator power we do not get AC, <laughs> so we like to uh, be able to hook up on a shoreline whenever possible. And currently, our internet, uh, Jeff was uh, in ingenuity at his best. He put in a line from our house to the to the van so that we could have connectivity out here all the time. So there you guys go. And if anyone has any questions about what we're doing out of here, just send send them to my email, and I'd be happy to answer them. So. There you go. Thanks, everyone. Wow. Thanks so much, Amanda. That was That's terrific. Bob, back to you. Yeah, that was fantastic. Very, very nice, gang. Lots of work, I can tell you that. Yes. Well, thanks for showing us all that. And uh, I know you're going to have a lot of fun. But the main thing is you'll be able to, to help people, maybe save lives. And that's what ham radio is all about. That's for sure.